All right, in this video, I'm going to be doing a short overview of the core loop in Escape from Tarkov. The core loop are the list of activities that you do over and over again, just as you think of a story having a beginning and a middle and an end. A multiplayer game has a set of things that you do repeatedly inside of the game. The idea is without the core loop, the game couldn't exist. Let's dive in. So here's the main menu. From here, you can choose to start a game, you can review your character, you can trade with vendors, or you can also view your hideout. We'll talk about all those options later. Generally, the first thing you want to do is to get a mission from a vendor. So we have a couple of choices here. Usually, Prepper has the early missions. Uh, here, you can buy gear from this vendor. Um, one of the reasons you complete missions is to increase vendor loyalty and to get better gear. Here I've already completed part of this mission. I just need to kill two more scavs and customs. So next I'm going to gear up and outfit my character for the mission. I'm choosing an AK here and then I also need to outfit it with uh, magazines. Each of these magazines have a different type of ammo. Uh, only certain ammo can go into certain magazines, and only certain magazines can go into certain guns. So that'll be good enough to get me started, and then we'll be ready to play. So you have two choices here. You can play with the scav, or you can play with your PMC. The PMC, uh, I'm sorry, the scav, you get to play with free gear, but there's a timer, so you can only play once every 20 minutes with your scav. With your PMC, you can play as long as you want, as long as you don't die. If you get hurt, you have to heal yourself before you go back in again. Also, you can only complete missions with the PMC. Therefore, we have a mission we want to complete, so I'm using my PMC. Next, we got to choose a level. Our, my mission is on custom, so I have to choose customs. So each of these maps has a different session length and player cap. They're also a little bit different. Some of the maps are almost entirely outdoors, like woods. And then factory and interchange a lot more interior spaces. Shoreline's kind of a mix. You can choose night or day here. I'm going to choose the daytime because I don't have any nighttime gear. So the game encourages you to buy a map. You're really better off just using a map printed out from the internet. So you can also play in offline mode and you can even have um, uh, other p scavs in there. Uh, you don't lose any items when you use offline mode. So it's a great way to learn a map or practice with new weapons. You can also ensure your gear here so that if you get killed and no one else takes the uh, gear off of your body, you'll get it back uh, about a day later um, once uh, you're done with the, uh, the mission. Your container always comes back with the gear inside of it, even if you die. Um, there are different container sizes depending on which version of the game you have. Next, you choose to squat up or go it alone. It can be difficult to find squads with uh, randos. Usually, you're just better off playing with friends. Here, I'll be going in alone. It's a lot quicker that way. Loading times in Tarkov can be really bad, sometimes three to five minutes. You should also keep an eye on the tooltips for controls. The combo keys in Tarkov are really hard to learn, so it's worth uh, checking them out and figuring out how to play the game. The PMC spawn first in specific locations. The spawns will scav a few minutes later in waves. You have to exfiltrate with your items in order to get them back into your inventory, and certain missions also require you to extract and get out alive. If you get out alive, you get an XP bonus. So if you're scav, you don't want to kill the NPC scavs or else they will t all turn on you. I'm a PMC here, so I can shoot everything. Audio is incredibly important in this game. You spend most of your time in this game just listening. So I can hear a uh, scav outside right now. I'm just waiting for him to come inside so I can shoot him. Most of the time, if you can get the first shot off, you will win the fight. 
right now I'm waiting to see if anyone else heard me and whether or not they're going to come and investigate. I also want to loot this body, but I don't want to do it before I get shot. The problem with looting is that as soon as you go into the loot menu, you lose some situational awareness. So looting carries a lot of risk. I only need one more scab to complete my mission. Yep, there he is. Keep an eye out on the mission indicator on the bottom right. Come on. Check out the top left. So it wasn't very clean, uh, but at least I killed him. So this is also interesting, I accidentally dropped my magazine while I was reloading, one of the problems with the Tarkov combo keys. So now I've got to be worried that someone else heard me and I need to get moving. Checking my wounds, so I'm a little hurt here, so it's time to get out. I've got a key to this door, so I'm going to take a shortcut to get out of here so I don't have to fight anyone else. There's also some good uh, loot in here, so let's check that out. If you find something new while you're searching, you have to examine it to figure out what it is. That's what I'm doing here. I can hear some uh, shots out there. Um, I definitely know that the people out there, but I'm going to try running for it anyway. Along the way I find another scav, uh, decide why not just take him out, get a couple of good shots in on him, he goes down, but uh, I decide not to uh, loot the body because I want to get out of here alive. And I almost made it, except server disconnect, you get that a lot in Tarkov. I lost everything that wasn't in my gamma container unfortunately. So this is what a uh, successful extraction looks like when you get out. Here I was playing as a scav, so I need to pull my loot into my inventory so that I can save it. If you don't pull your inventory in your loot, you lose it permanently. Now time to play Tetris. Russians love Tetris, so I gotta clear some stuff out of my inventory in order to deposit this thing. So I don't have space to keep the gun, so I'm just gonna keep the sight and get rid of the gun. And then we're back to the main menu. 